and welcome to Adam TPC. And yesterday, this is my second ever vlog. And yesterday, I'm over here at Chesington Wild Adventures for the Winter's Tail event after Christmas. So, yes, obviously, we won't be seeing Santa Tail or anything like that. But the Christmas dates are actually still up, as we can see by this amazing snow sculpture up there. And yesterday, I'm joined by Theme Park Coasting. So, yeah, I'm going to come over there. He's just over there right now. So, yeah, he's just run away. I don't know why. But yeah, we're going down to our first ride. That's probably going to be Vampire. But are you forward to see? Oh, it's going to be a great day here at Chesington. It is actually free to get in now from early pass holders. And just really looking forward to it because all the Christmas stuff is still out here, as well as some awesome rides like Vampire, Gruffalo, and so much more. Yeah, it is free to get in today for annual passes. And there's an amazing Stickman sculpture over there. Love that. That was probably my favourite one. Because obviously, we have been down here before today. Uh, so, yeah, make sure to check out this vlog. But yeah, I'm going to go down to Vampire, and yeah, I'll see you down the Wild Woods. Just a walk on queue, five minutes, wasn't bad. But yeah, Zach, what do you think of the whole experience? It's really good. It's really immersive, really well themed. Still miss the bubble work, so. Yeah, Tom, what do you think? Yeah, that's a dad dad for You cannot beat the bubble work. Bubble work's a classic light, amazing, hard for me. It's a really good take over towards the buffalo. And I do think it fits in perfectly within this sort of like, an attraction for younger kids. Yeah, I totally agree. This attraction is for younger kids. It's not for older kids. I bubble work used to be for young kids as well. And it does really fit in with obviously the Julia Donaldson books and stuff. As if no one can bring on the bridge. But look at that. Amazing. Ten quid for that though. Is it worth it? But yeah, um, yeah, you get you, I'm not gonna show you, but you've got nice Christmas photos just before you go onto the ride. I see vampire photos down there. They're not that Christmassy, but yeah, it's still really, really good. Um yeah, and I think we're gonna go down to vampire, but I've heard it is a long queue so far. So yeah, I mean we're gonna brave the queue. I uh, hope it's after the tunnel, because on Winter's Tale it was walk on. So yeah, um yeah, I'll pick some shots in the vampire and I'll see you down there. Yeah. 
get to the platform before you go to you. Here we go in the vampire queue. Let's see how long it is. Hope it's not going to be long because on Winter's Tale it wasn't that long. Uh, nobody around here at the moment. But yeah, the queue now for this is really nice as well. Obviously, you can't come down here at the moment because the rest of the park's not open. But yeah, it's really nice when you walk around here. So you've got some gravestones and all that. This lighting won't be on today as obviously it closes at five o'clock. Um, yeah, but the scene is really nice. I saw something the other day that looks like Remsis Avengers um, sign. Yeah, that one looks like Remsis Avengers. It's not. Um, I, d I don't know where they picked that one, but yes, it's not queuing in the tunnel, that's good. Yeah, it looked like it's from Rams Revenge. But it's not. <laughs> yes, you can look around here. It's nice gravestones and all that. Oh, it doesn't look like it's a long queue actually. So are you excited? Oh, Mega Life Vampire. One of the only rides that's open here over in the UK. So just going to get back on it. Awesome wind coast. Not wind coast. Awesome wind. dangling leg coast or whatever it is. Swarm. Yeah, I wish you all swarm. I know. But yeah, looking forward to flying off a bat. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It doesn't look like it's cooling in the tunnel, like I said. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not cooling in the tunnel either. So, yeah, beware. Lose items. Yes, it's not cooling in the tunnel, but this is where you get really, really good views of obviously Vampire. I don't know who it's made by, um, but yeah, I know Rams of Avenger is shot. I know who that's made by. That's made by um, Huss, and, that, and that's the top sim model. But yeah, it's really nice around here. I can just hear the car going up right now, so I'll try and see if I can get some shots of it. But it's not queuing down here today, so it looks quite good. Because I've heard um, from Zach. I uh, make sure to check him out from Theme Park Extreme. Uh, I don't think it. I don't. He said there was a long queue down here, but yeah, he got it early in the month. There you go. There's Vampire. Yeah, I haven't been there for about. And yeah, yeah. I'll see you we after the run. Okay, I've just had one of the best rides I've ever had on Vampire and it was amazing. Like the wind was just absolutely stunning. And Zach, what do you think of it? Oh, very good. Yeah, and he's got some chips at the moment and mozzarella sticks and like that, onion rings. But yeah, um, really, really good ride on that. And then we just, just got three pot badges because he just got a meal. Yeah, really, really good ride on that. Not sure what next one's going to be because we've got about half an hour, an hour left. So not bad today, but we've only came down for about three hours. Yeah, what do you think of Vampire? Yeah, Vampire classic over here at Kempton, and of course we are in the Vampire Burger Kitchen. But I think you may guys know that actually the whole of this land used to be, well it still is officially, but it's not really fur. I think now it's through Transylvania, so stuff like, you know, of course, Gruffalo through Bulbworks, it used to all fit in. And actually, when they were designing Bulbworks, they had a, like, a decision whether to either make it Bulbworks or make it into a sort of like spooky ride in the land. However, they chose Bulbworks, I think that's a great decision. However, would it be better if they had the other ride? Comment down below and you'll find out. Yes, make sure to comment down below. But yeah, as you said, we are now in the bike kitchen. I haven't been here for years, actually. Um, yeah, I just haven't been here because we usually go to Captain's Fish and Chip Shop, but I think that's really good. So I recommend that. That is a really, really good restaurant. Um, but yeah, in here, it's sort of just like we get all the towers off the of bird kitchen sort of thing. But I guess it is bird kitchen, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Vampire, a really, really strong one on that. Best ride I've had. But yeah, um, next ride's going to be... Um, 
I'm not sure the next one's going to be actually, but we just did the Gruffalo, so yeah, we've had one run on the Gruffalo so far and one ride on Vampire, so they're not bad, two rides at the moment, and obviously Vampire is open in the main season, uh, not in the main season, in the winter's tail event, so yeah, I'm going to see you on our next one, I'm not sure what's going to be, I'll pick in a few clips, but yeah, I'll see you there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be like a mid-morning. Okay, so we now came over to have a look at the construction where the new flying Dumbos are going to be. And yeah, it looks really, really good. Um, you can see, like, there's a hole so far. It's just been amazing so far. It looks really good. But the, but the ride's not here. I think the ride's still near Ramses Avenge. Obviously, that did close this year, unfortunately. But we did get down there for the closing day of it. But yeah, we are going to go over to Toad's Crazy Cars in a minute. I do have a pair of on it, but it will come on my channel soon. But yeah, we're, now going, we're going to go to Toad's Crazy Cars, I think, and have a look at the construction for that. But yeah, today has been a really, really good day so far. We haven't spent long down here, but obviously Zach spent the whole day here. So yeah, it's really, really good. Um, you can see our favourite chip shop, Captain's Fish and Chips, are just down there right now. And then yeah, we can. I think the show's on right now as well. I don't know if the show was actually on, but yeah, the, the show seems to be on now. Um, but yeah, you can see the beautiful sunset view of Dragon's Fury. It's just amazing being down here at the, obviously the Christmas event. And we did come down from the main season. This is the after Christmas, so it's a, it's sort of a different event in a way. It's not you're not not most of the rides are open. It's very limited this event. Um, but yeah, this, I can just hear the show right now. I can't talk over it. It's probably going to be copyrighted, so we can't talk over it. But yeah, I'll see you in a minute. And I'll pick a couple of clips of the show if we're going to see it. Um, and I'll pick a couple of clips from Tony's Crazy Cars. And that may be the end of the day, but we'll see if we can fit in one more ride like Tiny Trackers. But yeah, I'll see you after we've got the construction for Tony's Crazy Cars. <laughs> just enjoyed them clips of the construction update here at Chesington World of Adventures and yes obviously I'm back here behind me with the wonderful flying jumbos but yeah um, in a minute I'm gonna to interview Tom but yeah he's just holding the camera for me so thank you for that um, but yeah like the construction is really good around here um, we've heard a couple of facts about it as well but yeah like I'm really, really excited for this um, and yeah like, I did like the flying jumbos the last time I won that I actually had a really, really good ride in it so I'm actually happy and moving over here because it's more a family friendly area to be over here in the tiny truckers and stuff and I think there's a bit more guests on it around here a good space for it I can't remember what it was here before it was like sort of like you know to pay go karts but that was only for temporary time um, and before then I had no idea what was meant there um, but yeah, like the construction's really good. Now, I don't know what we're going to do next. We may use Sea Life Adventure Tree, um, and we've still got about half an hour left. Uh, but yeah, as you saw, the show was going on as well. Um, yeah, the show looked really good. Um, and yeah, just overall today, it has been amazing. So yeah, I'll see you at one of the um, of other adventures of Sea Life, and yeah, we'll go on whatever we go on. <laughs> Here we go, a bit of a change of plan now. We're actually going to do Vampire. Zach has just left us to the ventry. But yeah, I enjoyed being with you. Um, but yeah, we're doing Vampire now. No ride on Vampire, always the best on here. And today it was actually running really, really well. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. So really good, are you excited? Yeah, vampires getting twice a day. Night rides, don't give this is a normal term, fun. Yeah, yeah, night rides on this, it's gonna be amazing. Like, I can't believe we're actually gonna get another night ride on this. Uh, the, the, the operations sound really good. There's a really good operator in there today. Um, but yeah, I just love all the lighting around here. Fortunately, you can see all the lighting really clear, because I can show you now, they're just like that on the floor. Yeah, so you can't see it really, really well, but it's fine. Like, no, if you look up, all of that is so, so nice. Um, I haven't seen the car go around yet, and it looks really, really quiet. But they're only running one train today, so that's a disappointment. But 
do you know it's still going really well and it looks quite dark down here right now um so yeah this is the queue line if, you have, if, the, if you're not familiar with vampire this is the queue line so but i showed you earlier you've got all the gargles and stuff uh, obviously you've got red lighting for there and the red lighting only doesn't go there it goes on that tree as well and the little's going up over there don't know where it is now yeah, so a really good selection of lighting here. They've got green, reds and blues, so really, really nice. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go, vampire. Oh, I can't wait for this. Really dark at the moment. There you go. There's another shot of vampire. <laughs> amazing I love vampire um, especially the night rides on it so yeah there's really nice lampposts around here and stuff and it says no trespassing up there but obviously don't turn back there's a sign up here in a minute that's one of my favourite signs um yeah you may as well check the theme park coast now and we did see Paul March and stuff so may as well check Paul March theme park get stream out because uh, yeah we saw them all today so that was really nice um to see them but we spent around like three hours of theme park she was nice to talk to them and stuff as well um, but yeah, the queue lines are really, really nice around here. Very, very short, but you can actually buy you start, the chess pieces about that. If you look at the chess pieces, try and get a bit quicker. Uh, there's the chess pieces. You can actually buy stuff like that. So yeah, they're really, really nice. Uh, Vampire is still going up there. You see around there, still going round. But yeah, they may be running two trains now. I'm not sure, they may have stopped this one two trains because it was getting a bit busy earlier and about a 25 minute queue to get on this. Uh, so I hope they are running two trains now. Um, yeah, obviously doing a Legoland tomorrow, so I'll film a vlog there. And I obviously will do a construction update on the new deep sea adventure coming to Legoland in 2020, hopefully. Um, and yeah, we'll do the February half term. We're not sure how much it is yet, we think it's £5 each to go in. Um, but yeah, that's just usual. Lego and Chesms and all that. Like tomorrow we have to pay £18 to go in tomorrow. Obviously you're going to see Santa and stuff when it's after Christmas. But yeah, it's, it'll still be an amazing time there. But like Chesmington's really, really good. So we're really excited for the one tomorrow. And also I'm joined by Jaden from Jaden TPC. Make sure to check him out as well. And these windows are so nice. Yes, yeah, so these windows are amazing. All different lighting. That one's got no light in it. That one does. All the lighting. So I don't think the queue's too bad. Yeah, the queue's only there, so I'll see you after. And you can talk to him about the best food. <laughs> Okay, so we have just finished Vampire, and what an amazing ride on Vampire! I loved it today, and it's just been amazing. It's like we didn't have long up here, it was free for annual passes, and again, my favourite sculpture, Stickman, looks amazing, of course, it always does. But yeah, this wraps up this vlog. And Tom, did you enjoy today? Oh, today's been great, it's been great to have a free like, visit to a park from uh, and Pass, getting good. Hopefully, in the future, Chesington, uh, we open the park permanently all around the year, like some places like Disney and Parks of Wards do. And yeah, just love the ride, Vampire, great, and it's basically like a really great place just for everyone to enjoy. 
Yeah, I totally agree. It's been an amazing day today. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the second vlog on the show. There will be another one soon. I'm going to try and edit it tonight and upload it tomorrow. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload it though. Um, but yeah, it will definitely be uploaded before the end of uh, 2019. So yeah, this wraps up this vlog from the wonderful Chesington Wild World Adventures. And it has been absolutely amazing today. Operation has been really good. Set from Vampire on one train. But everything else has been really, really, really good here. But yeah, this wraps up this vlog from Chesington Wild World Adventures Christmas event. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.